this is what we're seeing. The clouds are really strange this morning. We were supposed to get some snow, and yesterday we had tremendous, tremendous winds. Hello, little Oreo. Were you nice and, and warm in your blanket? Look at this. We have snow. Come on. Come on. I know it. Come on. Look at the snow. Hi there. How are you, huh? Wow. You don't like me to picture that. You don't like that at all. Come on, are you ready? Here we go. Little Oreo girl. Little Oreo girl. Oh, you just sweetie. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I bet you're cold. That is crazy. I can't believe it snow on the what is today the 24th 25th <laughs> i don't even know and it's sticking snow too it's not like melting that is nuts how you like this snow miss oreo do you like it uh, do you like it yeah, I know you're cold. I know you're cold. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Sweet girl. The 25th of March, and we have snow. <laughs> My gracious. Another day, it is Tuesday, and the snow that we got yesterday just has made everything kind of frosty, and it stayed on the ground. It just gave us a light covering, which is which is great. So what I'm up to today, I have gotten all of my crystal out, and I'm getting ready to have breakfast, yogurt and blueberries, and see which ones are glass and which ones are crystal. So, and organize them a little bit better in my cabinet. So here is the massive amount of glass and crystal bowls that I have, which I don't know. I don't know if it's a massive amount or not, but some of them were given to me. Some of them I bought myself. Uh, some of them came from antique stores and some of them came from estate sales. But like I said, many of them were given to me. So the way that I know about whether it's a crystal bowl or a glass bowl is by um, giving it a little ping <laughs> and you can hear the difference between the crystal and the glass. So this one is glass, I'm pretty sure. So it's a dull sound. I don't know if you can hear that. It's a dull sound. But if it's crystal, it rings like a bell. Let me do that again. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to test all of these, and I won't go through each one and, and make it boring, but... Or I don't know. Would it be boring? Let's see. Okay, that one's crystal as well. That is glass. That one rings like a bell, that's crystal. 
See, that's dull and it doesn't bell ring. But these right here that are not, whoops, that one, that one is crystal. Oh my word. Okay, I think I, I mean, the crystal is just like super, super clear. And the gra glass has sort of a luster to it. And see how dull that is and it doesn't ring. So I thought these three were all related, but they're not. So that one's a crystal. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some serious sorting. Uh, let's keep going. Dear. Well, <laughs> and they all have a different sound, too. But it doesn't keep that ring like this one does. You know. Real crystal just keeps that ring going. And the glass stops. Oh, that one's definitely just glass. But it's so pretty. It's pretty. I know this one is glass. I picked it up from an estate, or I think an antique store. This one just kind of goes with some glasses that I have. It was that pattern that was so popular maybe back in the 70s or so, but definitely glass. Definitely glass. 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 And this was given by my husband's mother, so that one's not gonna go anywhere. It's a little basket. It's, it's not crystal, but it's so pretty. And let's go over here to my little ones. I don't know. See, that one just keeps that consistent ring. That is crystal. And that is glass. All right, so I think I kind of know what's what. So I'm gonna organize these and get them back into my cabinet. Um, does it, I mean, really does it matter if they're crystal or not? In price, probably. But in looks, I just kind of go with what's pretty. <laughs> you know, if I think it's pretty, I like it. And these just fit, you know, jellos and salads and, uh, all sorts of different things if you want to be a little bit fancier for your presentation for dinner. So, you know, I don't want to get rid of any of them right now. So here are my spaces and my grandpappy's upside down, but I think it's just the box, not the actual deal. It's a good fryer. I don't want to get rid of it, but I've got a good space there for my crystal and I have a good space here for my crystal. And this is all Christmas dishes and Christmas presentation. I keep those in boxes. Why? I don't know. I just have. And then down here at the bottom, more presentation stuff and dishware that I don't use a whole lot. Most of my dishware is up in the cabinet that I use on a daily basis or when company comes or, you know, whatnot. And of course, a lot of it is, you guessed it, blue, <laughs> you know, so those are my, and then my china is over here. I keep it up here. And my china pattern is a Nortaki um, rose pattern. Really, really pretty. And of course, it's a very pale blue. The pattern is called Virtue by Nortaki. And of course, Nortaki is made in Japan. But yeah, that's my china. I have an eight piece set of the china. 
up here and some serving bowls up here. Why am I getting into this right now? I don't know. I just, I guess because I wanted to organize my crystal since I got that new bowl. So that's what that's all about. And I have a stash of chocolate up here that my sister brought me from. Anyway, Machu Picchu is in Peru. She went on a uh, retreat for, it was a religious retreat to help out. And she brought these chocolates back. And I tell you what, they are so strong, I can't eat them. They make my heart go berserk. So I'm going to have to let somebody get into those so we don't want them to go go bad so yeah anyway i'm getting off on a whole bunch of different things all right let me organize this crystal so and I have get it my mainly glass pieces that are pretty large up there and then the crystal pieces i separated into stacks of three of course some of them are also glass but at least i kind of know what i've got and when i get ready to serve i'll know what to pick out so that is my duty this morning and on to other things so i am working on um, some pouches today and getting ready getting an order ready which i was thrilled to have this order and it's for a sweet little girl uh, who belongs to a lady that i used to teach with at the school that i was um, teaching art in first grade so I'm tickled to have this order and I believe it's ready. So I'm going to show you real quick what I did. So she requested the artist pouch and I made it similar to the one that I did for my sister. It is a little bit different if you, if you were to go and look at that one that I did for her. But um, yeah, I put some little, you know, paint, paint things and um, little crystals on the paint can or the brush holder can. And then I did... Uh, primary colors for the ribbon pull and the little girl's initials and I've got to make sure with the mom that that is the correct initials and then on the other side I did her name and then did some flowers in her name and then did various art supplies all the way around and then on the vase of flowers on the canvas I put some little pearls in the center of the flowers and then on the artist palette, I only did crystals for the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. So if she's learning about art and getting into it, she will understand what this is all about as far as primary colors and secondary colors and, and all of that. And uh, hoping that she likes pink and purple. <laughs> so I really had fun doing this and I appreciated the order and I will get this to her as soon as she is ready. So now I'm going to go back to working on this pillow cover for my sister. This is a velvet pillow cover. And so I'm gonna subtly add uh, paint to the flowers uh, where there's color and see how that goes because I don't wanna completely cover it. So it's gonna be kind of a subtle um, just a array of color. It's, it's actually blues, whites, and greens, and a little bit of yellow. So uh, I will pop on the screen the picture that I kind of took it from and then go from there. So we'll see how this all turns out. Well, I have finished my sister's pillow cover and, uh, the blue is a little bit brighter than it was in the actual photo, which I don't know if I minded or not, and I'll let her see it in person and see what she thinks. But anyway, um, it was taken from a photo from a shop. I took a picture of a painting or a print, and uh, my sister liked it really well, so she said, I want that one for a pillow cover. So I tried my best, and. <laughs> We'll see if she likes it. I'm going to see her tomorrow, so I will take it and, and let her see it. But anyway, this is how it turned out. Um, the only thing is, um, when I did the little bird, I wanted him to be not the standout necessarily, but more in the background. And the colors 
sort of um, when you watercolor on something, especially canvas, and now I know about velvet, um, it bleeds a little bit around the edges, so I don't know how she's gonna feel about that. I could make the other areas around here bleed as well. So I'm gonna talk to her about it, and I can easily bring it back home and and make some more bleeding to make it look like there's a blue sky behind everything. So we'll talk about it and see what she thinks. So on to the next project. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I have lots of ideas, um, probably pillow covers uh, and perhaps a pouch because I have another butterfly I'd like to do. So that is what I'm going to be up to today. It is sheet washing day, and I'm gonna do a little vacuuming and swiffering because um, I believe we're gonna have company this weekend. So anyway, my table is cleared off uh, from that activity, and so I'm ready to start a new one. So here we go. Another day is beginning, and I got ready. Um, I thought I'd just show you what I'm wearing today. This is a Disney World purchase from many years ago. Um, if, you, if you've ever been to Disney World and you do the Tiki Room, where the parrots sing and everything, that's what this is about. And since it's still March, we have a few more days left in March, I thought I'd do a little bit of green. So this is what it looks like from the front and from the back. It's a little over the top with the Walt Disney World puffy letters, but Anyway, I thought I had to have it back way back then, so here we go. So what I'm gonna do today is use these little pieces that I got from the Dollar no Dollar General. Um, they were the cutting boards in the pastel colors. And I'm gonna go in here and line my daughter's bathroom drawers. <laughs> I got mine done and I'm so happy with them that I thought I would do a little bit of cleaning out in her drawers. Not necessarily, I'm not gonna you know, do anything with her stuff because it's hers when she comes home, but I just wanted the drawers to be just a little bit fresher. So we're gonna go in here in her bathroom and uh, see if we can get this done. One project for today. Okay, I got all of the drawers and cabinets cleaned out, vacuumed out, and ready to go. So all of the things that she has, I'm gonna try to organize and put them back in order. Hopefully she won't be upset because I can't find things. But I'll try to put it together so that it makes sense. It wasn't that bad. I just did my cabinets and it was such a nice refresh that I thought, yeah, let's do it for Suzanne as well. This is her bathroom. You know, we live in a house that was built in the 70s. So her vanity is like this and we've never changed it. I just don't, you know, the expense of changing things when it's just fine, it's just dated. Why does that matter? Why does that matter? I don't understand people who tear things up when there's nothing wrong with it, you know? So what if it was 50 years ago? If it still works, leave it alone. So anyway, um, these two glass mirrors slide and then you get all of this storage space in here, which is really nice. I guess I need to clean these out too. Anyway, um, it's just, you know, it's a cute little bathroom. It's got everything that she needs. It's got storage over here, but most of the things that are stored in here are towels, which, you know, I don't feel like that area gets that dirty. And then up here at the top, we've got uh, books from my past and her past. And, you know, we need to take those down because she probably didn't know she has them and things that I have used or bought or whatnot. So those are toys and games and things. And then in the bottom section, this was actually, I guess, supposed to be used as a laundry um, hamper type situation. But it, I don't know, it doesn't really work that great. So we don't use it for that. I just store some of her extra toys and things. And I think I have some books up here some yeah i do i have my um 
scrapbooks from when we first started going to Disney World. But even that area, because we don't get into it, I'm not going to mess with it right now until she gets ready to go through toys. So, you know, that's going to be what it is. So, we're going to get all of this picked up and organized and back in. And she will have something nice to come home to, hopefully, for Easter. I did not touch this area over here because I feel like this is stuff that she uses when she comes home, no matter what. But everything else, we've got all the essentials down here at the bottom. And I did line that uh, particular shelf. So hopefully things that she uses are together. And then these are all fragrances and perfumes. And then this is all stuff that has to do with tanning and then cleanliness like, you know, hand sanitizer, peroxide, Germex, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully that will look good to her. And then I did line these drawers with those, uh, they were actually supposed to be kitchen cutters, but they work great for drawer liners. So organize all of her makeup and then all of her palettes are back there along with her uh, makeup sponges. But all of that's together and organized. Nobody loves to organize better than me. Um, this is all of her hair brushes. And then down here, we've got her curling irons, her blow dryers. And then this cabinet, everything that has to do with hair, except for the mouthwash, of course. But anything that has to do with hair, there's some paper towels and extra cups for mouthwash there, toilet paper, extra one in this little trash bin, and then all the feminine items are over here. And then that left her some room over here because there's really not anything in this other than this two-faced darling little thing that we keep hanging on to. Some extra bags like her packing bags, packing cubes, and a bar of soap that I don't know what to do with. And I guess I should have put that with her hair accessories. It's a little tiny curling iron, but I guess I can ask her about that when she gets home. So everything is organized and I feel better. I hope she will like it. And yeah, we are finished. This is what I'm working on this afternoon. And I will try to pop in a picture of my inspiration photo. But it's a very colorful floral arrangement and I kind of had to adjust it because of the size of my pillow which is like a 17 by 18 but anyway um, I just love doing the drawing I think it is so much fun and you can't really get as detailed as what a true flower really is so I just kind of have to what, what would you say interpret what I see sort of but anyway I really Drawing is one of my most favorite things to do. And then when I add color to this, it'll make a lot more sense. Right now, it just kind of looks like a mess, but there's, you know, like a sunflower and there's roses and there's, I don't know if they're carnations or what they are. And little buds and little purple flowers and I don't know, just all sorts of stuff. But anyway, so this is going and I will be able to put paint to it soon and I will share it with you when I get finished. We are going to have um, some chop chop in just a minute. My husband went to get it. Sometimes food trucks come to our little town. Sometimes it's Mexican food. Sometimes it's barbecue. But we're lucky and we're going to get to have chop like chop. Asian food. They have like orange chicken and um, wontons and uh, egg rolls and steamed rice or fried rice. Anyway, it's really, really good. So we're going to get to have a treat um, for lunch today that I didn't have to, or actually it's lupper. It's between lunch and supper or dinner, whichever one you want to say. If you say supper, it's going to be lupper. If you say dinner, it's going to be dinner because we eat about four o'clock in the afternoon. And then we don't eat again. It's just I have breakfast and then I have the afternoon meal and we're done. So anyway, I look forward to when we have food trucks and when I don't have to cook. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Anyway, um, I will show our chop chop.
when my husband gets back. Okay, here are our chop chop items, the wontons and the orange chicken. Looks really good. And the egg rolls. And then inside the little container that has the silverware, you get a fork, a fortune cookie, and all of these sauces to choose from, which is kind of neat. And then some special sauce back here. So anyway, we are gonna enjoy our chop chop. Yum, yum.